What's up, Lions? Welcome to the Roar of the Week. I'm your host, KJ Hammond, and I'm here to bring you the men and women's basketball recap from this past week. Let's get started. The men's basketball team could not hold off the San Diego Toreros Thursday night as they fell short 59-50 at Janie Craig Pavilion. Second leading scorer in the West Coast Conference, Evan Payne, finished with 13 points after being held to just one made free throw in the first half. The Lions took a four point lead with nine minutes left to play, but the Toreros would then respond with a 13-0 run and would not look back. Onward to the weekend. We have Lions, Tigers, and Bears. Oh my! Actually, we just have the LMU Lions taking on the Brigham Young University Cougars. The men's basketball team traveled to Provo, Utah, where they came up shy 85-72 at the Marriott Center on Saturday night in West Coast Conference action. The Lions had five players in double figures, but could not stomach the 13 three-pointers made by BYU, including five from Chase Fisher. After the game, head coach Mike Dunlop would go on to say, it was the best game we played as a unit this season. Back on the home campus, the women's basketball team hosted the BYU Cougars at Gersten Pavilion. Stingy defense helped the Lions drip out to a 22-8 advantage in the first 11 minutes of the game. However, 22 turnovers plagued the Lions as they fell short, 71-63. On Saturday, the women's team sought to redeem themselves at home against the San Diego Toreros. The defense was resilient once again, and senior Taylor Anderson shined, pouring in a career-high 25 points, including 17 in the first half. But it was late-game heroics from the Hood sisters, Melina and Maya, which got San Diego the W. Toreros escaped with the win, 67-59. Coming up this week, women's tennis begins its spring season on the road against number 14-ranked USC this Wednesday at Manhattan Beach Country Club. The men's basketball team returns to Gersten Pavilion for a two-game homestand. The Portland Pilot visits first Thursday, and then the number three-ranked Gonzaga Bulldogs march into town on Saturday. 